Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute half moon fingerless gloves. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, and let's jump into the materials. The materials I'm using for these squares is this Eco Cozy yarn. It's from Loops and Thread. Um, it is a five weight yarn. Where do we have that out? A bulky five weight yarn on both of these. I'm using the color navy and then steel. Now those are for these two. This is I believe just a Bernat um, baby blanket yarn and it's just a velvet yellow. You can use any kind of yellow you know that you would like for this. I'm going to be using an eye or a 5.5 millimeter hook, a tapestry needle for sewing, and then you will need a pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, we are going to start with a magic ring or a magic loop. If you do not know how to do that, go ahead and actually click the link right above and they do have a video on how to make that. From here, you want to chain up two and this will count as your first stitch. Now you want to make 11 more double crochets or excuse me, 11 double crochets into the space. Uh, so to double crochet, you yarn over, go into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this counts as one stitch, two. We'll have a total of 12, but we're going to make 11 double crochets. So go ahead, that's one double crochet, make 10 more and meet me back here. Go ahead and count. Make sure that you have a total of 12, including your chain three. So pull your magic ring tight, and then we are actually going to slip stitch into the top of our chain two right here. So into there, we're going to slip stitch. We're going to chain up two. This will count as our first double crochet. And then we're going to yarn over and back into that same space we're going to place a double crochet. Okay, so now into this next space here, we're going to place two double crochets into the same space. We will be increasing into every single stitch of this row. So go ahead and make two double crochets in every single stitch. You'll have 24 stitches at the end of this row. Now that we have our 24 double crochets, including our chain here, um, we're going to slip stitch again into the top of the chain two. And we're gonna chain up two for our first stitch again. And we're gonna yarn over and we're actually going to start making this into a square. So we're gonna double crochet back into um, that same space, just like this, okay? And now we're going to just double crochet one into each of the next five stitches. So here is one, two, three, four, oops, where's the fourth? Four. And now into the sixth stitch, sixth stitch, we're going to make two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all into the same space to make a corner. Okay, so we are going to double crochet one time. Now we're gonna double crochet again back into that same space right here. Chain one and double crochet back into that same space. One and two. And just like that. So we have completed one corner. Over here we've started a corner, but we're gonna finish that up here in a minute. 
So from this point on, you're going to double crochet into the next five, one, two, three, four, five. And then right here into that sixth stitch, you're going to do what we did here again. You'll make a corner. You'll do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into that same space, crochet over the next five, make another corner, crochet over five more, and then meet me back at this video um, when you get right before this space here. So go ahead and make two more corners. Um, I guess I will actually just do one more with you guys. So here is one, two, three, four, five. So do that and then the corner. You get the gist of it. Let me meet you back here, guys. Here I have completed one, two, three corners. Now we're back to where this chain three space is. So now we actually need to finish completing this corner. So into the same uh, space right here where our chain three is, we are going to actually place two double crochets. So there's one, here's two. All right, now to complete this corner, we're gonna chain one. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. Perfect. Now, for the last round of this, depending on how big your hands are, I like to do one more. Um, you could potentially stop here if you wanted a little bit of a tighter glove. However, I'm going to go ahead and make one more row. So I'm actually going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch into our chain two space right here. And then I'm gonna chain up two to start my first stitch. Now yarn over and double crochet back into that same space, or excuse me, half double crochet in that space. We're doing half double crochets now for this last row. So half double crochet into that same space. And now we are simply going to half double crochet over every single stitch until we get to the corner. So go ahead and do that over these next few stitches. And when you get to the chain space right here, meet me back at this video. So here's that corner, it's that chain one space. We are gonna do the same thing that we did, but half double crochets. So we will half double crochet two, two. We're gonna chain up one and half double crochet two more back into that same space to make our corner one and two okay so half double crochet and then make a corner half double crochet make a corner half double crochet till you get to the edge over here where we first started with our chains and meet me back here here i am back at the corner so like before we will do two half double crochets into where our beginning chain is We'll chain up one and then slip stitch right to the top here. I like to slip stitch into the next stitch as well because we are actually going to fasten off. Slip stitch there, chain one, grab your scissors. Leave yourself a bit of a tail. We're not gonna use it to sew them together because this stuff is really fine. Now be careful when you kind of pull this tight because this yarn does like to break if you pull too hard on it. So just, I like to make a few knots and we'll go ahead and sew that in later. Go ahead and grab your secondary yarn and make a second square exactly the same as this one. If you want it in one size, that's totally fine, um, or one color, I mean. But in the meantime, go ahead and make another square and then meet me back at this video. We will sew them together and I will go over the moon part. Now that we have both sides made, we want to make sure that the side that we want facing out is actually going to be facing each other at this point. So. The right side of our work is going to be together. You want to thread a tapestry needle and we are actually just going to sew these up on the side to make the thumb hole. So go ahead and attach this in the corner and I just like to pull it through, make a knot just like this. And just like that two or three times. 
I'll go back and sew that in later. So from this point, I like to sew over about three stitches. We're gonna skip four, and then we'll go over the last five. So you simply want to go in one side and out the other, just like this. And now we're gonna go back, and you can adjust this for how big you want your thumb hole to be, two. And I'm just gonna put this up on the side. I don't know why I did that. Two and making sure that we are lined up properly and three. So from this point, you can kind of put your hand in and see where you would like your thumb hole to be. You don't want it to be directly in the middle. Um, I did actually do that with this one and the higher rows go up top. Um, and it's okay, but I wanted it, I guess, just a little bit further down. So that is why I did the three. And I want these to actually be a little closer, like they need to match. So if you guys go ahead and do three. And then now we're gonna go in and out, in and out of one side. And we're skipping four stitches. So you're gonna skip four on this side as well. One, two, three, and four. Right here is where we're gonna come back out. Okay, so we skip the four. Go ahead and pull that through. You don't need to do it super tight or else it's gonna like bunch up. And now you go into the following stitch. You can kind of see that's where I'm coming out. So we're gonna go through here and through that fifth stitch. So just count one, two, three, four. Make sure you skipped four on the other side. And now you simply want to go back and forth, closing up your work until you get to the corner. And then you will tie off. So just back and forth. And then when you get to the corner, just kind of make a little, a little knot like this. and secure that up and go ahead and you'll want to sew that in and weave it in. But now, it's gonna be for this side, you have your thumb hole. So from here, what you wanna do is thread your needle again and sew up the opposite side. So over here, you're going to attach in the corner and just go back and forth through every single stitch on this side just to close it up. Do that and then we're going to do one round for the top, a couple rounds for the bottom of single crochet. At this point you want to turn your work inside out and you want to make sure that this next por portion <laughs> you're making sure that you know what side you want your thumbs to be on. Um, so for here, I'm going to do it like this. Now, we're going to attach in the corner and just work a single crochet all the way around and then we'll fasten off. Um, that's for the bottom portion for closer to your fingers. You're going to do 24 stitches along each of the top and the bottom and then one on each corner. So you'll have a total of 26 stitches at the top. You will then do the same thing here. You'll attach in the corner. You will make 24 single crochets. You'll go one more right here in the corner and then 24 along the bottom, attach, and then make a row of half double crochets. So again, in total, you'll have 26 stitches on the bottom. You'll have 26 stitches in total here. One round on your bottom row of single crochet and then a row of single crochet and then half double crochet to finish off here. Now, to make the half moon thing, please click the link right above here. There is a video on how to do that. Now, once you have that made, you simply go ahead and sew it onto your square. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the super easy half moon chunky crochet fingerless gloves. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will try to answer that for you. Have a great day, yarn friends.